What's up guys, welcome to a uh, vlog, a Thursday vlog. And firstly, I'd like to apologize for not uploading a video yesterday. I did not sleep uh, the night before and I tried to vlog and I ended up falling asleep for most of the day and then being completely out of it for the rest of the day, I just turned into a zombie. And today it's so foggy, I'm not sure whether you can see. But it's really foggy and I'm in the theater uh, today and uh, what we're gonna do is prepare for Monaco we've got some new equipment hopefully coming there's gonna be a bit of army tricks technology that's gonna be getting installed into my car over the weekend I hope in time for when I leave Monaco on the Sunday I'll try and keep you updated as much as possible with two surprises that are happening this weekend and when I mean surprises don't take them lightly if you like supercars and you also like supercars in London then they're gonna be insane. And I'm en route to SB Race Engineering today, then I will set up, do a little bit there, head off to get my hair cut, which I probably won't vlog, but you'll see the outcome, obviously. And then it's back to SB for a pretty mental afternoon, and um, I'm just gonna bring you along on the journey, try and chat to you as much as possible, and hopefully get this vlog to about 10 to 15 minutes. Seriously foggy everywhere. I thought it was going to be sunny all week. This flower is not getting any sun today. So I have to park over the road from SB because it's not allowed in the car park. It's not supercar enough, which I think is a bit of a disaster. And I'm running across the road <laughs> and into the office to crack on with some office work. Can't believe how slow the time's going today. It's not even 10 o'clock and I need to be out at 10. And um, I feel like I've done so much already and I've got so much more planning to do for this weekend surprise. Me and Stuart, uh, um, well, the owner of SB, which stands for Stuart, um, is, well, we're planning this surprise and I've just got so much stuff. I've just got cables, laptops, books for planning. What else have I got in my Mary Poppins bag? More cables. More cable, video camera. I am waiting for a delivery today and nothing has happened yet, which is annoying. It best come before Monaco because one of them is an external microphone for my video camera and the other is a spare battery for my video camera. And if they don't come, then I'm going to be in a pickle for Monaco. But I'm just going to try and sort my bag out and get planning. I feel like the first bit of this video on the vlog is um, all in the car at the moment, although I was in the office. But, as you can see, my hair's getting slightly long. Too long for Monaco. You always need short hair in Monaco. I've almost run someone over just then. Um, you always need short hair because it's always hot. And uh, the last time that I was there, it was really quite muggy as well, just really humid. So I'm heading off to get my hair cut now. And um, probably the next sort of clip that you'll see is me with my hair cut, which uh, is a bit like magic. Haircut complete and check and we are back off to SB Race Engineering and I'm just going to do a quick sort of shout out to SB Race Engineering. You need to be following their Instagram, Twitter, YouTube channel definitely because tomorrow they're going to start leaking out some pictures, some sort of sneak teasers of what is going to be launched on the Friday afternoon or Saturday morning. And this is gonna be like a European exclusive and trust me, this is not one that you want to miss in the slightest. If you like supercars, I don't know if I've said this before, whether I said this on Twitter or Instagram, it sounds familiar, but seriously, if you like supercars and you like crazy stuff, then um, head over to SB Race Engineering as I head back there now. Don't actually head over there, just head over to um, their social media platforms and things like that. Whilst I head back, I'm gonna grab some lunch. And then hopefully as well, there's gonna be some like deliveries for me in terms of for my uh, camera for Monaco, which um, has taken forever. It got dispatched like three days ago and it hasn't arrived yet, which is really annoying and I'm starting to get stressed out about it. <coughs> and I'm back with some good news. Yes. I don't, I think this is my battery, so I will have a spare battery for Monaco. 
I hope it's a spare battery. Well, it could be the microphone. I'm having spare battery and microphone. Let's do an unboxing section of the, of the video. It is the spare. Bloody hell, what the hell is that? Have I ordered the right one? It looks horrific. Doesn't look like a Sony, a Sony battery. A video, oh my God. It doesn't look like it's going to fit. There's only one way to find out. I'm just on my YouTube channel now and still hanging around. The battery is here. The external mic is not here yet. Fingers crossed it arrives in time. And I'm just starting to get really excited. I started doing a to-do list of everything that needs to be done before Monaco and it just seems to be never ending. Uh, we've got a few bits to sort out with my car as well, like the Army Tricks um, new module is going to be installed. I'm not sure whether I mentioned that on this vlog. I tried to vlog yesterday and uh, there was a, f a bit of information in there about the Army Tricks module and a new app that's gonna be coming on the iPhone and Android for Army Tricks exhaust system owners um, however yesterday the vlog just deteriorated and so did my condition um, and I ended up just being in bed pretty much all day so there is going to be a new module a new and improved module that's coming um, over from army tricks that's going to be installed on my car it's just a plug and play system that plugs into the ECUs and makes sure uh, that the valves and the whole exhaust system is working a lot more efficiently before it was um, a lot of wiring that would go through the car whereas this is it looks like it's from a computer game or something like that and I'm also installing the Army Tricks app on my phone at the moment it's not available on the App Store just yet but it's all real time it's all live and it's gonna be um, you're gonna be able to monitor your revs your speed your direction there's loads of cool stuff that's going to be um, available on this app you can also control the valves which is seriously cool there might be a few people that say that um, that's basically promoting using your phone whilst you're driving but it's the same as having a sat nav set up on your windscreen and when you're going around the track or something like that it's seriously cool to have all of that information to hand and they're just sort of set up on your windscreen like that um, but yeah after lunch which I'm stuffed um, I haven't moved much and I've just been working away up here to uh, get you guys ready for this uh, launch that's gonna be at five o'clock tomorrow here at SB Red it's not here but it's going on the internet at five o'clock. Um, and then the video is going to be going live at midday on the Supercars of London channel, and uh, or my own video of it. So there's lots and lots of cool surprises going on, and it's literally, it's honestly killing me that I can't tell you at the moment. And I'm running out of battery on my iPhone as well. This whole vlog has been filmed on my iPhone, and I'm gonna be wiping all of the memory off this phone and vlogging all of Monaco, there's going to be lots of faces that uh, you'll get to know over the next couple of weeks or so, um, and some that you've already known. Um, so, I'm just looking at the CCTV now, the car is not there, I promise, Look, I'll show you just to prove it. We have a Dino, another Dino, a car under a cover, which is a 288 GTO, an F40, an old Ferrari, which I don't know what it is. There's a 355 here moving up that you can see. And we've got a Diablo and a 355 outside. We've got a flatbed truck out there. A Maserati out there. There's a car under a cover. Um, and that is it. Got the Fiat in today. So, years. Um, so, yeah. Not a lot more I can say about that. But the car, the surprise, isn't here. That's all down here. I'll give you a quick tour. We've got a 308 fiberglass there, Dino, Maserati, Quattroporte, 288 GTO, some old school Ferrari, please uh, forgive me, but I don't know what it is. I think this is a 328. 308. Another old school Ferrari there. Beeping noise. There's a Dino. Beast F40. And there's also a 355 underneath there as well. And now the phone's ringing, damn it. 
So some good news to end the day with the Army Tricks module getting fitted. I'm now back in the Fiat 500 and it's like a sauna in here. It's so hot. Can't believe how quickly the weather can change. But that's it for the vlog today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, a little insight into what I've been up to today, getting ready for Monaco. Tomorrow, the GAD tuning challenge is going to go live, so you'll get to find out what I have to do um, from London to Lyon, which is gonna be a really exciting video that I hope can go live on Sunday evening, if not Monday, it depends on the hotel's internet down in Lyon. But thank you for watching, I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, insight. I hope you guys have a haircut, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Well, I hope you like it, actually. Um, and for everyone that's coming to Monaco as well, look forward to seeing you out there. It's going to be really exciting to uh, bring my car down. And <laughs> I need to get a window open. It's so hot in here. So I'll see you tomorrow for um, an awesome challenge video. Saturday and Sunday are the Supercars of London exclusive um, surprises. And remember, 